So with being stuck at home all day, every day, my fashion choices have changed a bit. Sweatpants all day, every day, baby. Pajamas till 4 p.m., no parents, no rules. Now I actually am someone who gets a lot of satisfaction and confidence out of getting dressed every day. Even if it's a simple, comfy outfit, if I take that time to put together an outfit that flatters and highlights my figure, I feel a little better. I feel more like me. So I've been making the effort to actually get dressed every day, put together a cute outfit, and find that middle ground between comfort and style while I'm at home. So if you're anything like me in that sense, hopefully this video will give you some new outfit ideas. We're throwing it back. It's like an old school fashion outfits lookbooky video like I used to make. I'm gonna show you a bunch of comfy but still hella cute outfit ideas that I've been loving and wearing a lot recently. And I also tried to make sure that these outfits were easy to recreate with items that you probably already have in your own wardrobe. And I wanna give a big thank you to Savage X Fenty for sponsoring this video. Savage X Fenty has got you covered for all your bra, underwear, lingerie, and sleepwear needs. And they have hundreds of styles, so there really is something for everyone, no matter what your personal taste is. I have been living in so many of my Savage X Fenty pieces lately. The new wireless bra is just so supportive and high quality, but still very like smooth and comfy. You can tell that their pieces are really built to last. Also, I have not been able to shut up about these and I won't start now, but guys, the Savage X cotton jersey sets, they're so cute and comfy. I have pretty much been wearing them every day. I'm literally wearing one right now. They're just so, they're so good. So be sure to check out Savage X Fenty from my link down in the description. You can make a one-time purchase or join their extra VIP program to get some big savings savings, you'll get 50% off any item in your first extra VIP order. So thank you, Savage X Fenty. Lots of cute, high quality, size inclusive stuff we love. Now let's go ahead and jump into these comfy outfit ideas. All right, so if you watch my vlogs, you can definitely attest to this, but I think bike shorts and an oversized t-shirt has pretty much become like my quarantine uniform. And what's great about this is number one, it's super, super comfy. I mean, you're literally wearing an oversized comfy t-shirt and bike shorts are basically just crop leggings. If you think about it, I used to be on like a crusade against bike shorts. I was not a fan. And then my friend Carrie totally turned me on to them about a year ago and I've been hooked ever since. I love bike shorts. Usually I will style this one of two ways, either a pair of black bike shorts and then I can wear literally whatever t-shirt I want on top and it looks pretty good. Most of my graphic tees I get from Hollister, Urban Outfitters or Amazon actually. And I usually like to size up in these or look out for graphic tees that are labeled as oversized. The second way is I have this really fun pair of like velvet blue bike shorts from Aritzia. And I feel like these look a lot more trendy and a lot more like an outfit versus the black bike shorts. So I'll usually pair these with a more muted blue or white oversized shirt. And I just feel like this is one of the most comfy things. The shorts are long enough that they totally stop the chub rub. And the shirt is oversized and comfy, so you don't really have to worry about anything. If you're not a fan of the oversized look, another option is to tie the shirt at the waist. This really helps to give waist definition and highlight your figure. And I do like this look, but I would say I definitely gravitate towards the oversized, big, loose look because it's comfy. <laughs> This look also pairs very well with a nice chunky sneaker, even though most of us don't really need shoes right now because we're not going anywhere. I do feel like the sneakers kind of complete the outfit and give it that very like modern streetwear kind of effortless look. Second outfit idea is a fun pair of flowy pants or soft pants or palazzo pants, whatever you wanna call them, with a nice simple t-shirt or sweater tucked in. Now what I love about flowy pants is they genuinely feel like pajama pants. This outfit is just as comfortable as if I was wearing a pajama shirt and pajama pants, but it looks like a put together outfit. Wow, magic. <laughs> And if you have a pair of flowy pants like these that are patterned or printed, what's great is that can really be the statement piece of the outfit. And you don't have to go too crazy with the top that you're choosing. You can just do a graphic tee, a plain t-shirt, 
Or if you live in a climate where it's still pretty cold right now, you could wear a tight fitted sweater or turtleneck tucked in and it gives that same polished but simplistic and comfortable look. If you're looking to add shoes to the look, I think with a pair of plaid pants like these, Doc Martens or any kind of combat boot really ties the look together and gives it a little bit of that fun edge. And with a more like springy, summery, girly pair of flowy pants like these floral ones that I have, a simple sandal is perfect. I also added some simple gold accessories, this little necklace and these little earrings to give the outfit a little bit more polish. But flowy pants, if you have them, lots of ways to style them and they are so freaking comfy. <laughs> Next up, we have a nice little loungewear around the house look that I have been wearing a ton lately. And that is just a nice comfy pair of leggings, a cute little bralette. My set is from Savage X Fenty, of course. And some sort of like open cardigan, kimono, wrap, something over the top of it. And I feel like this is the perfect balance between essentially just, you know, hanging out around the house in your underwear, but still having it kind of be an outfit. This look is super comfy, easy to put together, and it really helps me to feel in touch with my body. Being at home all day, we might as well take advantage of it and uh, show a little extra skin sometimes, experiment. This look is something I can really lounge in. This is something I've been wearing a lot on like movie days, chill days, sitting at my computer, answering emails, super simple, super comfy, but more put together than literally just wearing my underwear, which is something that I had started doing. <laughs> And it's super flexible. If you wanna like hop on a Zoom call or something, or maybe you're heading out to the grocery store, you can trade out your cardigan for a regular sweater, throw on some booties, and you have a presentable Zoom call ready, cute Instagram worthy outfit. I've been doing this a lot where I start the day in a little bralette, some leggings, a wrap, and then later in the day, if I'm filming a video or hopping on like a video call, I change out the cardigan for a regular sweater and I'm just as comfy, but ready to go. Very cute, very simple, of course, very cozy and something that you can mix and match a lot if you have different sweaters in your closet. This outfit is one that I am constantly seeing all over Instagram and Pinterest, but honestly, it didn't really feel like I could pull off until recently. And if I'm being fully honest, I still don't fully feel like I pull it off the way I see on social media, but this is real. This is me, Camp Rock reference. And this is the way that clothes actually look on my body. So I'm tired of saying this style isn't for me or this style isn't for my body. I like the sweats and baby tee or fitted tee look. So I'm rolling with it. I think this is like the best looking thing. Really? Yeah, it looks so comfy. Oh, it is very comfy and that's what this video is. Just plain comfy gray sweats like this are totally back in right now and I'm so here for it. And my favorite way to style them is just with some sort of ribbed fitted tee or a short baby tee like this. And I'll either tuck it in or just just kind of like fluff it up, ruffle it up in the front. And what I love about truly comfy casual outfits like this, where you're just wearing comfy sweats, is you can show yourself self care and effort by changing out of your pajamas, but you still get to put on something that's equally as comfortable. And I personally have tried to stop wearing my actual pajamas during the day because I feel like it just messes up my brain about what is chill time and what is work time. And so even if I am wearing something equally as comfortable, like sweats and a baby tee, I still get to feel chill and comfy, but it keeps that like pajama time is something special and sacred, but it doesn't mean I have to dress up in freaking stilettos every day. I can wear something that's just as comfy, but these are my daytime clothes. If you are all of a sudden working from home or doing school from home and still want to have somewhat of a professional put together image when you're on video calls, there is no time like the present for a jumpsuit obsession. Jumpsuits are great because they're one and done. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to coordinate an outfit. You just put on the piece and you're good to go. Light, loose fitting jumpsuits like this are incredibly comfortable and breezy, but give a very polished put together look on the outside. And if you do feel the urge to go the extra mile, you can spice up your jumpsuit looks with matching hair scarves or scrunchies or different jackets. I love doing a denim jacket over pretty much any jumpsuit. I also have this pajama jumpsuit suit from Target that I wear a lot. It doesn't have as much of that polished put together look that a regular jumpsuit has, but it is incredibly comfy. And I wear it a lot on my chill, comfy couch potato days. Next 
up, we have just leggings and an oversized crew neck. This is a super comfy, casual look, but there are a ton of different ways that you can spice it up and change it up. Layered necklaces are a great touch for this kind of look, and you can mix and match different colors of crewnecks and leggings. This gray crew neck that I'm wearing is literally just like a Hanes sweatshirt from the men's section. Definitely recommend sizing up if you're trying to get this kind of look. I got a 2X and it gives me that nice billowy, long, oversized look. Personally, I think gray is my favorite color for the crew neck in this kind of look. And you can keep it simple and just go with black leggings or mix it up and add a color or a pattern. Sometimes I'll wear it long like this and other times I'll just kind of bunch it up a little bit and roll up the sleeves. It still gives that laid back oversized look but helps show off my hips a little bit more. If you have just one pair of denim shorts that you love, you can literally create like 20 plus outfits from there. I have these high-waisted paper bag mom shorts from Hollister. They're pretty much the only denim shorts that I've really been wearing right now. And I cannot tell you how many different outfits I've created by just mixing and matching different sweaters, different blouses, graphic tees, dad shirts, flannels. Like there are so many different combinations that you can make with just one good pair of denim shorts. If you have a high-waisted pair like this, you can emphasize your waist even more by tying or tucking in your top and it helps show off your figure while still being very comfy and functional. For a more laid back casual look, you can just do a plain t-shirt and layer a flannel over it. You can dress it up more by adding a fun belt and a blouse. Tight fitting sweaters like this are also a great way to really hug your curves and show off your figure. There are endless possibilities, endless combinations, just limited to your imagination and what you have in your closet. Next up, we have the same idea, but mix it up instead of shorts, try it with some jeans. You can take a crop top and do a little French tuck in the front like this. Tie or tuck in a graphic tee or a band tee, again, layering different flannels, jackets, accessories. Just by switching out the top and the belt, this becomes a completely different outfit. And it is incredibly easy to coordinate and make it look like you're really wearing something different every day, but it's always the same idea and the same base of your jeans. That's why I am a big believer in just getting one or two pairs of jeans that are like your holy grail jeans. Find whatever that pair is for you because once you find those perfect jeans, it makes putting together simple, casual, comfy outfits so much easier. These ones are kind of like a soft, stretchy, vintage fabric. So even though they're denim, they don't like press into my stomach at all when I sit down. I can move very easily and very freely in them and they're just like soft and comfy. And maybe part of that is the actual fabric being designed to have that like worn in feel or maybe just because I wear them so much, I have made them have that worn in feel. Who knows, but all I know is it makes it really easy to make cute, casual looking outfits with a good pair of jeans that I love. Last but not least, we have some cute outfits with joggers. And the thing is, I actually only have one pair of true joggers. They're these green high-waisted ones from American Eagle. But the thing is, I can create so many different outfits with just my one pair of joggers. I feel like the theme of this video is if you just have a couple good staple bottoms, you can mix and match and create so many different looks while staying comfy and looking cute and not having to go too far out of your comfort zone. What's great about joggers is they're kind of essentially the same as sweats, but just the material and the look of them gives a much more kind of elevated look to an outfit versus wearing sweats. I love finding ones that have an elastic waist like this so that I can just focus on the fit in my thighs and know that the waist is just gonna adjust to exactly where I need it. As a thick thighed girl, my biggest issue with bottoms is wanting that kind of like loose, effortless look, but not wanting to do this dance all day because I sized up and my pants don't fit my waist and keep falling down. And that's why tie waists, elastic waists, and just belts in general are a, a thick girl's best friend. And that is it. Those are my outfits. 
I really wanted these outfits to be cute, but still very attainable and easy to recreate. So I hope you guys liked it. Let me know down in the comments which outfit was your favorite. And if you're gonna recreate any of these and put your own spin on it, I would love to see on like Instagram, Twitter, or the Facebook group, whatever you want. Tag me in it and I am so excited to get some style inspiration from you guys and how you style your comfy outfits too. And I wanna say thank you to Savage X Fenty for sponsoring this video. I love being a Savage X Fenty ambassador. It is something that I truly am so proud to be a part of. They're really reinventing the lingerie industry and I just love how they unapologetically stand for all inclusivity and self-expression. So if you wanna check out Savage X Fenty, they have a quick fun little style quiz that you can take to find out which Savage X you are. And Savage will suggest styles specifically catered towards your personal taste. And don't forget to enter your email after you take the style quiz so you can get exclusive offers for up to 50% off. And remember, you can get 50% off your entire first extra VIP order if you join their membership program, plus bras from $15, bralettes from $10, and undies from $7. The membership is flexible, so you can choose to shop or skip the month if there's nothing that you wanna purchase. And you can skip as many months as you want, so check out Savage X Fenty, link in the description. Let me know down in the comments if you, like be honest, did you like this video? Do you like the more old school lookbook outfit ideas videos, or was this it's just like a fun one-time thing and I should stick to the more like experimental fashion videos that I've been doing lately. Let me know in the comments. I really do value your opinion and I will be reading through as always. So be confident, be kind to your body and I will see you guys on Friday with another new video. Bye.